The way that each individual metabolizes alcohol is different. So this is an attorney <clears throat> down in Australia. Attorney, uh, lawyer, barrister, barista, <laughs> solicitor, solicitor down in Australia. He's got a lot of contents, good content. Give him a follow or at least check him out. He is talking about how alcohol is metabolized by the human body differently with every single person. And that's true. But I saw his video the other day and it gave me a chuckle because it got me thinking about the breath to blood correlation and how it's different in each country. And I was under the impression that Australia used a 2000 to one breath to blood correlation. I was wrong. Whereas in the United States, we use 2100 to one. They actually use 2100 to one in Australia. I found that out. So I learned something new on TikTok every day. What do I mean by this though? Okay. Back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, there was speculation that you might be able to figure out how much alcohol is in a person's blood based upon what's in their breath. Well, fast forward to 1952, a lot of studies have been done and it was determined in the United States that the breath to blood correlation was roughly 2,100 times the amount that you could register in the, the breath. So if you blow, multiply whatever that raw data is by 2,100 and you come up with what is our 0.08 loss. So in the United States, in every one of the 50 states, the law says that your breath content cannot exceed 0 0.08 grams per 210 liters of breath. 210 liters of breath is the multiplier. That's the breath to blood correlation. So what I found out through my research and, and preparing for this TikTok was that most of Europe still uses 2000 to 1. And that means that if you blow into a breath machine in some European country, you are going to blow lower than you would blow here if you were simultaneously in two spots at once. They would only multiply it by 2,000. And that matters if we're trying to ascertain exactly precisely what your breath content is. In Great Britain, they used 2,300 to 1. In the 1960s, we conducted a number of experiments. There were a number of published studies with lots and lots of people in them. And we found through these studies that the actual breath to blood correlation is probably around 2,270. So in Great Britain, they round up. In, in the United States, in, in Australia, they go down. Uh, this is to collect the statistical majority of people is, is the argument. Because if we're right there at the average, half of the people will blow higher than they actually are, and half will blow lower. These are just averages. So at the end of the day, what does this all mean? Well, it means that the, the, the breath machine is actually collecting raw data and just simply doing the math. And there are living, breathing, driving people out there who have a breath.